Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor here, and welcome back to more of the RPG Maker XP Horror Series thing. Last episode, we made a little jump scare. Um, uh, we're going to connect it now to the living room area. Because why not? Alright, so we're going to add some little stair things. Oops. Definitely don't want to do that on that layer. I'm going to kind of add them in this thing a little bit. And modif modify my this doohickey. Now, it won't exactly look like that. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. Because it looks pretty cool. It's going to look pretty cool anyways. Anywho, I have not recorded in a few days, and that's super freaking loud. I have not recorded in a few days, and I apologize for that. But we're going to do a little bit longer of a recording in this uh, day thing. Right, anyways, that's that's what our little uh, staircase is going to look like here. And in the living room, we're going to right-click that. We're going to click New Maps. And we're going to type Basement Hall. Now, I did forget. No, it was Mining Town, wasn't it? Was it Mining Town? No? Which which map do we use for the jump scare? i got to find that out. Oh. Oh, we use the fort. You're sounding again, Bert. Uh, does the Fort Town have the, the stairs that we're looking for, actually? The Fort Town in? If not... Oops. If not, we might have to... Uh, well, where the heck did it go? Am I missing something? Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? I knew it was like at the bottom of the list. I just didn't... Anywho. Uh, no, it didn't. Not good. Not good at all. Let's try to find something that does have the uh, stairs we're looking for, but also... Okay, that does, but... No, um, that's uh, that's a YouTube comment when that sound happens. I apologize if that's a little annoying. Anyway, we gotta try to find ourselves a good interior map here that uh, kind of matches with the house. Let's try shop. And also has the stairs we're looking for, and basement-looking walls. <laughs> well, I guess... Yeah, you know what? You know what? You know what? This is... How's this look? I'm just going to click and drag that in here. It has, like, those kinds of walls. But you know what? This right here can be closely matched. And besides, if, if at the very least, what we could do, technically, is just uh, redo the, the basement. I don't know. We're I'm not going to do that in this episode because I, I don't want to be too repetitive with the stuff that I do. I mean, you know, I want to have it make it fun for you guys, at least. Don't bore you guys. The tears. <laughs> Alrighty. Yay! Eh, let's just do this. Yeah, this looks like a hallway. I mean, every basement hallway looks completely out of color. No. How about this? Ha! Victory! Now it's for the floor. It even looks like it's getting all basement. -y. Okay. You guys don't even have to say it. I'm like, I know, this is terrible. I know, I know. You know, I'm thinking of making an episode where we just try to uh, make our own little tile set. What do you guys think of that? I think that'd be kind of cool. So... The basement idea is good, but where we cannot have these kinds of stairs here. Uh... Ooh, what we can do, however, you know what? You know what? Yeah, we can. We can make this work. We, we can make this work. We can make this work, guys. Make this work. If not, I will just move on to something else. Um, this is going to be one of the longer episodes because I don't want to bore you guys, like I said earlier. I don't want to bore you all to tears. So, yeah. Try to make it a little bit more enjoyable. Mmm... I kind of want to fix something with that. I want to do it like... I don't know about that. Oh! Oh! What? What? No way, man. No way, man. Screw it, we'll just leave it like that. I have an idea, though, to make things a little, uh, a little more fun for you. We're going to make an item. It is going to be called... Yes. Yes, I'm not even kidding here. Some strange item named after 
a weird unknown language. <laughs> Orcs! The icon should be a potato. Should be a freaking potato. Uh, we don't have potatoes here, do we? We ain't got no potatoes. No potatoes. Oh, well. <gasps> it's an acorn. Yes, it's an acorn. I don't know. We'll change the icon and stuff later. But I do want to have an item in the game uh, called the Darboot as a reference to the original uh, well, it's a horror series that I did. Yay. That would be fun. And it's just so freaking unmatching. It's not even funny. Uh-uh. No. Hmm. Huh. What can we do? <laughs> oh, maybe dungeon. Castle dungeon. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. No, because it's still like those types of forms. Hmm. Alright, you know what? Just like a couple more attempts and then I'm going to move on to something else. Like a cutscene. We're going to move on to a cutscene after this. It just uh, does not work out. Well, even if it does, again, it's going to be like one of the longer episodes. I got I lost again. I got lost again. Here we go. Oh, gosh, that is not it. Yeah, basement hall. <laughs> Hashtag nope yet. Well, we'll find another we'll find another way to do this thing. Uh, and no stairs here, by the way. I'm just, I'm just going to make another room. So then, let's go ahead and move on to the cutscene. I'm going to make a new map here. So I'm pour down in. I'm going to call it Cutscene 1. And I'll show you guys how to organize things uh, as well. And what I mean by like that is organize the maps. And I'll show you all how to do that here in a couple minutes. Since we're done uh, interiorly decorating the interior decorational... What? Okay, so we are, we're out of symmetry here. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11, 12, Yeah, we're out of symmetry. Uh, in order for there to be symmetry, there must... The frick was that? I'm trying to jump scare me in real life, man. Okay. So we need to increase the uh, size bubble. I could have I could have seen that. Anyway, the only way to have something uh, symmetrical with one, one little space here to go back through, you have to have a room of like equal or um sorry of odd numbers so if you want it to be like symmetrical in the width you want to do a um you want to do a width of an odd number like 21 for example uh 15 is you know already an honor so you can actually do symmetrical stuff with uh, the height already but unfortunately that means there's going to be some small amount of scrolling but that's okay Wait, that doesn't matter it's not that big so what are we gonna add? What kind of floor? You know what? I just, I just we'll just go with the original. And don't worry, it's not gonna look like this. I'll, I'll trust me. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be good. And by good, I mean like probably horrible and and stuff. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to design. I'm just designing. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. What? I'm not playing a game, dude. What's the table here? There's tables everywhere. Now, I think this is going to be like more of a kitchen thing. Nah. That makes sense. If that makes sense. I don't know. I don't think it does. So I have some pictures up here. Yeah, that, that looked real good, Craig. Okay. Hmm. Nope, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Like that right there. Perfect! So now I can place something on this. Wait, what? What? Oh, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Alright, so now I can place stuff on this thing. Make it look really good like that. EA! Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause this because I know you guys don't really want to watch this. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and finish the room. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to the cutscene. Okay, guys, I've come to the conclusion that it is impossible to create a kitchen with this tile set. All right. However, there may be support items that we can use. I don't know. 
Not unless we want to play chess. That'd be a pretty cool tutorial. Chess tutorial. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get to the cutscene. So basically the idea I have here is he's going to run into somebody he knows in real life. And both of them are going to be thinking that they are the one dreaming. Um, plot twist. They're both dreaming the same dream. Yes. And she is a rabbit. No. Uh, it's somebody he knows in real life. I don't know the name yet. We'll think of that later. And we're going to... I'm like the worst planner when it comes to things like this. I guess she would be an alright person. Civilian. Yeah, why not? Uh, have her here. And we're going to have an auto run event. But I want to actually make the teleport event right here. I want to show you guys a really cool trick. Or no, it won't work with uh, XP. Well, it will, but it's a little bit more difficult to get working with XP. So never mind that. Okay. Teleport event here. Player touch, transfer player. To right here. Go back to the living room. Actually, starting room. Copy the door. So we have a little, uh, a quick, well, passage thing. A quick way to, yeah. Oh, you know what? We still need the uh, teleport event to be here. Yep. Because I've, because I've forgotten uh, XP, you walk behind the wall. so Or rather, in front of the wall. In front of. In front of behind the wall. What? Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make a little uh, little door thing. So we're going to turn right, wait for one frame, turn left, wait for one frame, and turn up, wait for one frame. Just to make sure that's the right ones. Uh, down, left, right, up. So yeah, left, oops, left, right, up. I think I got the right. Nope. I was a little bit backwards. <laughs> Turn left, then right. Man, you don't turn right, then, then left. Left, right, up. And that's that's going to give the illusion of the door opening. We're also going to play a sound effect. We're going to do... You know what? Let's just make it a little more organized. Play a sound effect first. Oops. That one work. That one will work. And if you want, we can actually wait until moves completion. We're going to move the player into the door, making it look as if he walked through it. So we're going to turn throw or through on, however you, I think it's through, but some people say throw. So I say both. We're going to move up. Oh, man. After throw or through. <laughs> then turn it back off. And then we're going to copy and paste this little thing here for uh, another wait for completion. And doing that will send us to that next room in there. As you can see here. Lol. Time warp. Whatever. There we go. See there? It looks cool. Alrighty. Now that we got that, we're gonna actually work on the cutscene, so. Go back to her. We're going to have an auto run event. She is two, three spaces to the left, or to the right. Two, three, four, five. And five spaces down. Okay. So it's going to be an auto run. We're going to actually wait for about one second. We're going to set move route. In this event, we're going to turn right. Wait for half a second by 10 frames. Turn left. Hmm. Looks too jiggity if she turns left. So we're going to turn down, wait for four frames, then turn left. And then we're going to wait for completion. And we're going to show animation, uh, the player. Ah, we're not going to show an animation. So now move forward. Okay, he's here. One, two, three, four. Uh, wait for completion. Hmm. No, no. I want to kind of have her intersect his walking, so he's like she's walking about the same time he is. So, 
We're going to wait for about 10 frames. I don't know, it just makes the cutscene look all that more alive. You know, like not one person's moving at a time. Instead of waiting for completion, we're going to, yeah. And then she's going to move left and then move down. Ignore if can't move. Just in case he's in the way, we're also going to do a turn down. Okay. Now we're going to do a wait for completion. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, her name. I'll pause this. I got to call. Wow, and I just realized you guys couldn't see half of the event uh, thing. I apologize about that. Luckily, we're only using items on the left. Okay, her name. For now, it's going to be Susan. Um, if you guys want, you can help. You can change that by letting me know in the comments who, what you think her name should be. F I hope F2 does not screw over my recording. No, it didn't. Good. Susan. Ah, it's a red color. Uh. What? You know what? I think that's a nice color. Alright. Oh! Plus in this one. Thank goodness you're here. Oops. Thank goodness you're here! Now, he had a different text color. He had this one, I think. Slash N1. Slash C0. Alexis Gloop will not be armed. Okay, anyway. uh, <laughs> Let's give him the same... What? Hey, eh? I did not do it like that. Apparently I did. Craig is confused. Would you stop going over to the right? What is wrong with you? Why are you going over to the right? Okay. Here we go. This one. It's a banana. I'm not going to be super random. Anywho, it's a banana. Are you all right? Did, did it happen yet? Now, everyone's going to be like, what the fudge you talking about? Okay, and uh, basically the thing is a little creature thing that's lurking around killing things. The usual hashtag. What's that word I'm looking for? Cliché. Yes. The cliché. Cliché. No, that's the usual cliché, though. Everything's attacking stuff. Anyway, the basic goal of this is they're both dreaming right now and they think that it's their own dream so they don't really talk to each other about it. Well, eventually they do. They tell each other and they're like, holy crap, we're having the same dream. What the F is this? And then it turns out somehow the creature comes to the real world and starts killing. No, I don't know. We'll work on that, but that's the basic of it. N no, it didn't. Text face thingy. No. Not yet. Why do I keep having these dreams? Rage face. Oh. Oops. I, I thought I had Susan there for his name again. Sorry. Okay. Very funny. This is my dream. And you. Let's see how that plays out for a second here. Or what a long time warp. I need to fix that soon. That looks awesome the way he walks through the door there. Oh, I need to change her uh, walking speed. And we need to make her move left three. Speed. Four is the default. Frequency, we're going to do highest. To the left, to the left, to the left. I should have saved at the door. Door, door. You know, let me fix that door real quick. Lol, warp. Uh, we're just going to change the teleport now. I just copied and pasted the same door. 
Wow, this windows are all over the place, ain't they? They don't know where they want to be. All right, here we go. On a week, can't get back. What nipple chase is this? What's up, girl? How you doing? Hi, girl. What up? Oh, an Lexus Gloop. Thank goodness you're here. Oh, Susan, are you alright? Did, did something happen? Did it happen yet? I'm dyslexic on my own writing. No, it didn't. Not yet. Why do I keep having these dreams? Very funny, this is my dream woman. Anywho, that is, uh... Start. <laughs> that looked awesome. This is the start of the cutscene. We are going to move on with more! Well, whatever. I just want to wake up. Alrighty! So, now then. Uh, I think after that, there's going to be a crash. So, we are going to uh, wait for about 15, so it's not a complete second. So, it's not like the usual cliche waiting time. We're going to play a sound effect when we crash. Do we have a crash? Do we have a crash here? Uh huh. Ooh, that sounds like a good explosion. And that's scary. Yeah, a horse and a chicken. Oh ho ho ho! Never mind the crash, we're gonna do that growl, listen to this. Dude, if I was in a house and I heard that, I would grab the shotgun as fast as I can. And then I would start shooting every one of the walls. Till I find whatever's making that sound. Then we're gonna wait for another, uh... Actually, we're gonna wait for about two seconds. And then we're gonna be like, Yo, girl, it's happening! Don't want her to talk or him. I guess he'll say the first thing. It's active. Oh no, it's active. Like my nipples. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Quick, we got to hide. And I mean, like, in a closet, together. What? Okay, uh... Then the screen. For now, we'll just do the screen. No, I don't want to do that. I want to... Oh, cool. You know what? Let's make them hide in the closet thing. <laughs> Let's pretend this is a closet thing. So they're going to... Okay, she's right here, and he's right here. So she's got to move. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, two right, three, uh, three up. And he's got to move... Wait. Yeah, he's got to move two right, four up, because he's one well, one space under her. <coughs> Excuse me. So he's gonna move two right and four up, and she gonna move like yoga. I don't know. And uh, this event. <laughs> Two right, three up. We're gonna turn throw on right here. Uh, we're gonna change the graphic to none. So like, like she, as if she's hiding. And then we're gonna move up one, so giving him room to uh, follow us. <laughs> so yay. And then we actually gotta do the same thing with him. Throw on, change graphic, none. <coughs> now we're gonna wait for completion. And then fade out the screen, and then we'll, we'll kind of continue the cutscene uh, here in a couple minutes, or in the next episode, actually. And we'll, we'll do it in, like, a darker room, as if they're actually, like, you know, in the uh, closet thing. Uh, no, as if they're in the closet, and uh, they're hiding. So, 
that being said, I'm going to end off this episode after I fade out the screen with the change screen tone. I uh, might change some active music too in a minute, or at least in the next episode. I don't know yet. Anywho, that is going to be the cutscene. I should have saved it, but I didn't because I derp it. Aerolaxis gloop! No, I'm not gonna do that again. Oh no. In fact, I'm gonna have them look around a little bit too. Uh, in the next episode. Just gonna modify this cutscene a little bit, making it a little bit better. Now they both hide in the closet. Cool! That actually looks amazing! Aerolaxis! <laughs> okay, I'm done. Thank you guys so very much for watching, I'll see you all later.